Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Dinosaur Channel. My name is Tall, and welcome. This is your home for all things dinosaur here on YouTube. Before we get into what we're going to talk about, make sure you subscribe and turn on that notification button so you don't miss any of these new dinosaur videos coming out. Today we are doing a quick dive on the Velociraptor. So make sure you hit us with a dinosaur sized thumbs up and comment your favorite dinosaur down below and let's get right into it. So the Velociraptor, hands down one of the most famous dinosaurs in the world, coming right alongside the Tyrannosaurus Rex which we covered last week. The name Velociraptor means swift lizard and that's because this thing was fast. Now a side note, we have to mention this because this is the Velociraptor and the Velociraptor comes with a uh, set of controversies. The Jurassic Park Velociraptor that you know and love is not the real Velociraptor. Unfortunately, that's not what the Velociraptor looked like. It's always important to remember that Jurassic Park is a movie and book franchise based on fictional events. And that means that scientific accuracy is not always upheld, so we have victims of that, like the Dilophosaurus and the Velociraptor from the series. The Jurassic Park Velociraptor is more roughly based on the dinosaur called the Deinonychus, and we will definitely be taking a quick dive into that dinosaur in the future. But with that being said, the Velociraptor was still an amazing animal, so we're gonna jump right into all the information about this cool creature. So, how long ago and where did this animal live? Like the T-Rex, the Velociraptor lived in the Cretaceous period during the Mesozoic era. It's kind of debated how many million years ago this thing lived, but it's about 70 to 80, 75-ish. There's a bunch of different reports, you kind of gotta guess at some point. But on our hands, we have a Central Asian dinosaur. It is an animal that lived in Mongolia and China and Russia. So, what did the Velociraptor look like? Get it? Because it got a little Velociraptor behind me? <laughs> So like we mentioned, the Velociraptor in the Jurassic Park series is very different from what the actual Velociraptor looked like. This creature was the size of a turkey. Yep, a turkey. That doesn't mean that it wasn't dangerous, but it definitely wasn't attacking any Tyrannosaurus rexes or the equivalent that lived in Mongolia. Don't hate me. The Velociraptor is part of the theropod family of dinosaurs, or dinosaurs roughly translated to have walked on two feet. And we actually know a lot about how the Velociraptor looked because it was such a successful species. There were actually tons of fossils of it found throughout the years. Dinosaurs like the Velociraptor are known as dromaeosaurids. They are a family of raptor-like animals that lived millions of years ago. But we're gonna focus on our little turkey friend. Isn't that right? Oh, he's gonna attack me, isn't he? So feathers! Everyone wants to know about feathers! Yes! The Velociraptor had feathers, ladies and gentlemen. We have conclusive evidence of that. Not only did many members of the Dromaeosaurid family have feathers, and we have pure and clear evidence of that, but the Velociraptor definitely has evidence of little quill knobs in the bottom of its forearms. So we're able to say for certain that at least part of this animal was definitely covered in feathers. But probably the coolest feature of the Velociraptor is its key feature, its signature sickle claw. Now, most of us grew up watching Jurassic Park, so you're familiar with this scene. And he slashes at you with this six inch retractable claw. Yeah, our little turkey boy was covered in a bunch of sharp sickle claws. Most notably, it had one on its foot, which was actually retracted and was able to actually dig into its prey, slash it open, and feed on the yummy insides like a prehistoric pinata. So, why is the Velociraptor so famous? <laughs> It's Jurassic Park. Pretty much the Jurassic Park and Jurassic World movie and book franchise is what brought the Velociraptor to its fame. But not the real deal Velociraptor. The movie Velociraptor. So the fame of the name Velociraptor came with the book release of Michael Crichton's Jurassic Park, the novel. Michael Crichton knew very well what he was doing when he misnamed the Velociraptor instead of the Deinonychus. He claimed that the name was more dramatic. That's why he decided to call it the Velociraptor. But one amazing piece of Jurassic Park lore is the fact that the largest predatory Velociraptor species was found in the USA after the release of Jurassic Park. This animal was later dubbed the Utah Raptor, causing someone from the team of Stan Winston Studios, the people who are responsible for creating the Jurassic Park Velociraptor that we all know and love, to say, and I quote, so we designed it, we built it, and then they discovered it. That still boggles my mind. That's a pretty crazy piece of information that we have, and it's awesome to see how the novel, the movie, and real science merge together to create a weird mosh posh of what we see now in theaters. Hey Raptor, what'd you eat little buddy? 
He's gonna kill me by the end of this episode, isn't he? So we all know that the Velociraptor was a carnivore. That's clear. It had sharp teeth. It had sickle claws for tearing stuff into it. But what did it actually eat? We knew it hunted in the ancient deserts of Mongolia, and one of the most famous animals to have lived back there is the Protoceratops. This is a Ceratopsian dinosaur that is a relative of the Triceratops. We know that this was probably one of its favorite prey because we actually found fossils of a Velociraptor and a Protoceratops locked in battle together as they died. It's also safe to assume since it was a carnivore, it probably hunted in other herbivores, small reptiles, whatever existed at the time in its geographical area. But once again, it was not killing the Indominus Rex, because it wasn't that big. It was the size of a turkey. Okay. Boom! Done! That's the Velociraptor, ladies and gentlemen. That's your quick dive. Even though we don't get to see the real deal Velociraptor, I'm still very excited to see it on the big movie screen with the upcoming Jurassic World movie that's coming out soon. As we mentioned last week, we'll be covering all the dinosaurs from the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom movie, so if you love all these dinosaurs and you want to see them, a quick dive, all the information you want to know about them, make sure that you subscribe and turn on the notification button on this channel so you don't miss any of the new episodes. Also, leave us that dinosaur-sized thumbs up and comment down below a dinosaur that you want to see coming up next on this channel. If you like this channel and you want to support us, you can send us a donation down in the description below. We got a PayPal link down there. Your next dinosaur is going to be the Brachiosaurus. And oh my god, I'm so excited. It's like my favorite dinosaur. And we'll see you then. Goodbye.